All right, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope that your week has gone well. It has been a beautiful uh, day here all across North Georgia. We have an 11 alive day outside with stunning conditions, a lot of sunshine. Temperatures are much warmer. You may notice that you're sweating a little bit more outside today due to how hot it is, but it's pretty much where we should be for this time of year. It's not really cool like what we had the last few days where temperatures were kind of sitting a little more below average. That is a few days ago, rather, not even yesterday. Yesterday, we were pretty much close to where we should be for this time of year. Not seeing any rain out there across North Georgia, nothing but sunshine. It's been nice to get a little bit of a break from that rainfall and cloud cover. You can see as we started off this morning, we had a beautiful sunrise over the city of Atlanta. This is a time lapse as we've made our way throughout this morning. And as we've headed into this afternoon, you see a lot of sunshine, little bit of uh, wind out there. You're gonna notice that throughout the day but nothing too menacing. A look at uh, some of our tower cams showing the uh, blue sky overhead, everything moving smoothly out at the airport. Everything uh, looking great, again, all across the region. It's nice to have that sunshine to go around. Radar again, showing that we are drier, but you look further down to our south, I want you to look down towards Florida, showing that they have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity, and there's a little bit of a spin here just off the coast of Cape Canaveral. There's a lot of thunderstorm activity that's expected to make its way off towards the north here, and this little bit of a spin may impact our weather as we make our way into Memorial Day weekend. Now, we're going to be talking more about that in just a moment, a full update on the forecast, but first I want to talk about what we're going to be dealing with here over the next 24 hours and we're going to dive a little bit more into the uh, Memorial Day forecast. First of all, for today, this is Thursday again at 2.30. We always love to do these updates to keep everybody updated on what they can expect for the weekend. And then on Mondays, we do updates to keep them updated on the week ahead. Uh, but for Thursday today, we are seeing at about 2.30 temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Again, close to where we should be expected to rise into the lower 80s today. The 11 Alive app can be a great tool for you to have, especially when we have rain chances like what we have for this Memorial Day weekend. A few showers are going to be possible. Having that app with you could be really useful whenever you want to see where those showers are. Uh, you see there at the top where it says explore radar map. You can get a live look where rain is and then also there's a button that you can click and then you can see what radar may look like in the future keep you updated there. You have the hourly forecast, and then of course you can click that daily forecast. Right below that, you see uh, the weather well moment where you can send it in. We love to share those, send them in to us, and we'll share them right here on air. And then you can watch live. That's whenever we have a newscast on, that little tab there at the bottom says watch live, and you can click it and watch the newscast right there from your phone. Also download the Roku and Fire TV, TV apps because the 11 Alive Plus app, which is, that's what it's called in the Roku and Fire TV app, it can be very useful whenever you want to get extra information about a certain story. Let's say you saw a story on 11 Alive and you really liked it, but you wanted to learn a little bit more about that. If you have the 11 Alive Plus app, you can click on uh, the app right there on your Roku or Fire TV devices and then watch some extra information regarding that story and extra weather updates like the one you're watching right now. Let's take a look at temperatures over the last 30 days. It has been a little bit warm there for the early to middle portion of May. Then we made our way through the end of the month and temperatures kind of took a big dip down into the low to mid 70s some, day, some days for highs. But we're going to see a nice rebound here uh, as we head throughout uh, the uh, early to middle part of next week. That is after we have another brief little period of some below average temperatures. So again, the middle of the month, we had some really hot conditions. Temperatures even hit 90 degrees there on May 14th. That was the hottest day that we've had so far this year. Not expecting to really get that hot as we head throughout this next week, but we are going to see the temperatures rebound after we have a cool weekend. You're going to get a little taste of what we're going to see here looking at the forecast track before we show the seven day forecast later on in the update. Notice the temperatures here for today, again, rising into the 80s for highs. We move into tonight, down into the 50s and 60s, a mostly clear sky. And then we move into the afternoon on Friday. I'm expecting us to mainly just be partly cloudy. Forecast track sh tries to show an isolated shower or two there in far north Georgia. That would be about it, though. Not expecting long-term rain if you do get anything up into the north Georgia mountains. But it, uh, it could be a, a brief period of rainfall that passes through. Temperatures are going to be rising into the 70s for highs there for tomorrow. A little bit more cloud cover for Saturday, and you notice a lot of rain to our east. To look over towards South Carolina. That's a lot of rainfall. Remember that area that of spin down by Cape Canaveral, that little area of low pressure? Well, that's expected to make its way off to the north. And right now, it's looking like our forecast track model here is trying to keep the system further off to our east. But I want you to know, there's a chance that it could stay further west 
And if it ends up making a track that's more like this, let me uh, see if I can draw something real quick on the map here. If it ends up moving more like this, the center of the system, instead of like this, then we could end up seeing a little bit more rain over our region. It could also end up going a little bit further straight uh, due north. And if that happens, then it would be even less of a chance for rain for us. But we do have some rain chances here as we head throughout the Memorial Day weekend. I know a lot of people get out uh, on the lakes and uh, they also tend to do some grilling in the backyard. And then a lot of us also like to go and uh, visit family members who may be in cemeteries around the area there for Memorial Day to go uh, remember uh, those who have fallen. Whatever you may be doing this weekend, just know that there's going to be a chance for some rainfall and uh, you want to go ahead and have a way to keep an eye on that radar and also make plans to have to possibly bring some of those activities inside uh, if you are going to be uh, outside for this weekend. But again, it's not going to be a washout. We're going to talk more about that in a second. First of all, I want to talk about this area of low pressure. It does have a low chance for tropical development over the next five days. The beginning of hurricane season, now less than a week away. Remember, June 1st starts hurricane season. And uh, or the National uh, Association, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Admission Administration released their hurricane outlook today, NOAA, and they're, uh, they're predicting a average season. We're going to look at their numbers here in just a moment. Uh, forecast track shows again the system, uh, the GFS showing the system kind of move due north and then it uh, keeps all the rainfall further off to our east we do stay a little bit drier with the GFS solution here so hopefully we can stay on the drier side of things system probably won't develop in anything but if it does it would end up being our lean that would be the first name on our list for this year so the average 14 storms NOAA has us uh, getting anywhere from 12 to 17 storms this year name storms that is uh, hurricanes uh, seven is the average five to nine is our uh, forecast for this year from NOAA and then major category three hurricanes uh, one to four the average is three so again right around average for uh, the hurricane season this year is what NOAA is predicting and remember that's not storms that hit land any of them could hit land but remember they also name storms that may sometimes stay out there out to sea and not impact us um, and then we take a look at the Colorado State University forecast. This came out back on April 13th, so this was last month. You see that uh, they had 13 storms, uh, six hurricanes, two major category three or plus uh, hurricanes, right around average, so pretty much in line with what the uh, NOAA is predicting for this year. Uh, so rain chances, they are going to be in for this weekend. Remember uh, that system, depending on if it turns further west, if it turns further west, we could get more rain. If it kind of stays on that track to go a little bit more north, then uh, we'll get less rain, just a 20 to 30 percent chance there. And if it goes further east, we could see rain chances go down completely. So again, the forecast may change a little bit here as we head throughout the next uh, couple of days. Make sure you stay with us. We're going to, of course, keep you updated every morning, every evening, right here at 11 Alive and on 11alive.com. So let's take a look at how much rainfall we've had so far this month. We have been behind. We are actually in need of some rain here. Notice that we're trending on the dry side as far as the month of May is concerned. We are still barely ahead for the year, less than an inch now ahead for the year. Remember, we were, I think, even two inches ahead at one point. But now we've uh, kind of fallen behind a little bit due to May being a bit of a drier month. But still, no drought conditions out there for North Georgia. Uh, despite the fact that we've been a little bit drier. Uh, we have abnormally dry conditions uh, down towards the uh, southern middle portion of the state. You know, a little portion there of some abnormally dry conditions. But Georgia, for the most part, not really hurting on rain for rainfall, rather, too much. That's the good news. Uh, majority of the rain that happens over this next week, over the next seven days, is going to be for areas along that is for the state of Georgia. It's going to be for areas along the South Carolina-Georgia border. When you get further east into the Carolinas, look along the coastline. They're going to see a lot of rain over this next week. A majority of this is going to be this weekend and into early next week from that area of low pressure that we were just talking about. Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, some of those spots could get even up to two to three inches of rain. But here in North Georgia, here around the Atlanta area especially, we're talking about maybe a trace of rain up to about a quarter of an inch, maybe half of an inch closer to the Georgia-South Carolina border. 
but really not going to see too much rain for us as we head throughout the next seven days. And speaking of the next seven days, here's a quick look at that seven day forecast. 82 for today is looking like a beautiful day. Uh, Cheston came in this morning. He decided to drop down actually that 11 from the whizometer down to a 10, but still we're pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Nine there on Friday, 78, 71 there on Saturday, and then we're going to hit 70 degrees on Sunday with a 30% change for a few isolated showers. Just a slight change for rain as we head into Memorial Day itself. If you're heading out to any of those services, you may want to bring an umbrella with you just in case. Maybe have the 11 Alive app to keep an eye on the radar, but I think a majority of the services are going to go over just fine there on Monday. If you have anything that may be happening on Sunday, though, that's going to be when we have a little bit of a uh, better chance for some rainfall, unfortunately. So uh, wherever, whatever time your service may be, again, if it's, if it's Monday, a little bit drier Sunday, a little bit of a better chance for rain. Tuesday and Wednesday, the temperatures rebound back to the mid 80s for highs. So yeah, we're well below average for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures even 10 or more degrees below average. But we're going to be back above average there as we hit throughout the uh, middle of next week. And for the 8 to 14 day outlook beyond the next seven days, it's looking like that trend is going to continue around average to above average. That's going to be low to mid 80s for this time of year for us for highs. So nothing too out of the normal. At least it's not going to be super hot outside, right? That's what it's looking like, at least as we make our way throughout the early portion of uh, June there. And then the 8 to 14 day uh, rainfall outlook showing above average rainfall. For your weekend getaways, if you're traveling for Memorial Day, here's what you can expect. Destin looking phenomenal. A lot of sunshine there along the Emerald Coast. Uh, looking up towards Gatlinburg. A little bit more of a chance for some rain there for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Then Charleston, South Carolina, looking like some showers for them, especially from this area of low pressure that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Uh, Savannah's going to have a similar situation there. And then you look at Lake Lanier, they're going to have some chances for some rain, unfortunately, Saturday and Sunday. But again, if that area of low pressure goes a little further east, Lake Lanier not going to be as impactful on the rainfall. That's the good news. We'll continue to keep a close eye on all of that, of course, for you right here at 11 Alive. And if you're traveling anywhere across the Peach State, now looking out all across Georgia. You see the rain chances are going to be a little bit more significant for areas like Augusta, stretching over towards Savannah, down to Athens. Uh, some of those spots could have a little bit of a better shot for some rain there for Saturday. And then on Sunday, you see some of those lingering showers even for Athens and Augusta, but Atlanta not going to be as significant on those rainfall chances. Again, other than Sunday, where we have a few isolated showers that are going to be possible. Finally, taking a look at the Georgia State Park forecast. Maybe you want to go take a hike on some of our beautiful trips trails here as we head throughout the day on Friday. Looking like Skidaway Island could deal with some showers. That's going to be along the Georgia coastline. Probably going to be pretty rough out there on the water, too. And then you see a lot more uh, sunshine, though, when you look further off towards the northern part of the state, like Amicalola Falls, looking up towards Cloudland Canyon. Not too bad there. So I'm bringing back up the seven-day forecast for everybody. I hope everyone can have a wonderful weekend ahead of them. I hope that you can have a very meaningful Memorial Day there as we head throughout the day on Monday. We love to give updates, of course, every single week on Mondays at 2 30 and Thursdays at 2 30 as well. We're actually going to be taking the day off there on Monday from our updates this next Monday. Uh, I'm going to be off from work myself. So again, uh, we will have the next update next Thursday at 2 30. I hope you can have a wonderful and meaningful Memorial Day weekend. We'll of course keep you updated on everything anytime in between uh, here on 11 Alive. Have a wonderful weekend.